Well hello and welcome to the Cactus Cowboy YouTube channel. My name is Dave Rose. I've had several people request photographs and a little information on my homemade record cleaning machine. So we'll go downstairs into the room where I clean records. We'll take a look at the machine and watch it in use. Well anybody who's collecting records, buying used records from garage sales and thrift shops needs a record cleaning machine something to effectively clean the records quickly and efficiently. You can buy commercial units. They run anywhere from $500 on up. I decided I'd save some money and build it myself. This is a platter from an ancient wind-up Victrola. To the spindle, I welded a piece of quarter 20 bolt and then ground it down smooth will spin freely. The steel cabinet was made from scrap metal that I cut and welded together. The vacuum is provided by a shop vac. Bought this at a yard sale for 15 bucks. This goes into the back into this PVC pipe and I've got several wands that will swing across the record and vacuum the fluid up. There's a little switch back here to turn on the vacuum. Okay, record cleaning solution is homemade as well. I use distilled water, two parts, 91% isopropyl alcohol, one part, and a few drops of Kodak PhotoFlow, which is a surfactant. These are the clamps that screw onto the bolt welded to the spindle to hold records down. These are brushes that I bought from VPI. These are used for a VPI record cleaning machine, and these were by far the most expensive part of this system. I think I spent about 20 bucks for the two brushes. Everything else, dirt cheap, basically scrap, stuff from the lumber yard. I've got four different wands. This is for LP, 78s, 10 inch, 45 RPM, and 16 inch diameter discs. You notice there's a slot cut on the bottom of this tube with a Dremel tool and then I glued black velvet onto here to prevent scratching the record. What happens the vacuum draws through this slot and pulls the fluid off the records as I'm cleaning them. Before we clean the record, I'll show you a little trick. Windex paper towel. Spritz it so it's damp. Now you can clean off those album covers. A great way to get dirt and dust off album covers. Look at that. Now we'll clean the record. This is a reject. It was out of my shop building. It is trashed but it's filthy and a good for demonstration purpose. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. That is bad. Anyway, we put it on here. I normally wipe off the label like that. Place the clamp on. This is a uh, small nut welded into a larger nut. It gives me enough leverage to tighten that down. It's good and tight. We'll spin. Now we take record cleaning fluid. Now as I spin this by hand, a lot of these commercial machines have a motor. This is completely manual. I'll give it another shot since it's so filthy. Nice thing about the manual, you don't have to run a motor to spin it. You can vary the speed. You can go forward, reverse. Really get down in those grooves. Look at that. That's how filthy that record was. Okay, 
you definitely want to take care of your hearing I always always wear these my hearing's bad enough I have hearing aids I don't need to make them worse so put these on <laughs> Now we're vacuuming all the fluid up off of the record circuit. Still pretty chewed up looking record, but that's a lot better. Could probably even play this. I think it would be noisy though. There's the other side. Now, once I've taken that record off the machine, I walk over here and I slip it onto this steel rod. Steel rod is clamped to the wall here. I can stage up to about 15 records on here. So what I'll do is I'll clean 15 records this side then I'll go back to the record cleaning machine. Next I clean off the platter. Because remember there were dirty records on here and I cleaned one side of about 15 records, put them on the rack to stage them. Now I'm going to take the records off of the steel, steel rack and put them on here and clean the other side. So here's that same record, side we cleaned. We flip it over, put it on the clean platter, wipe off the label, put the clamp on, Go through the same process for this side of the record. There we go. Both sides of the record are clean. See this record is pretty chewed up. There's a mark there. But if you got a dirty record that's otherwise free of scratches, this is a great way to clean them up. It's ready to go back in the sleeve, back in the cover. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful and maybe give you a few ideas if you're handy with design, fabrication. Uh, it's not that difficult to make your own record cleaning machine. Total cost for this machine was well under $50 and I have cleaned at least 15,000 records on it. It's really worked well. Be sure to check out my other videos right here on the Cactus Cowboy channel. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.